Hello everyone. Welcome to EduTank. So here we are with the part two, another session on OES2 education paper analysis. And we will be providing you with genuine probable answer key. It is on official. And uh, to your surprise, we have seen six questions from our class. And this is the second video. So you have already watched our last video part one. So you might have already uh, registered yourself with this uh, channel and do subscribe the channel. Hit the bell icon and like the video if you want. And if you like this class, then just share this one with your friends. So let us start without delay. Yesterday we have completed only 51 questions and today we will discuss the rest part of questions out of 150 right so again the disclaimer answers provided by this channel is purely provisional and as per our own knowledge it may vary in the official answer key right okay so let, let us start with the 52nd question now the 52nd question asks the main the purpose, purpose of, of spatial ability, ability test is to measure if you want to test, test the special ability of a child of a person then what, what is your purpose? purpose future performance future performance how he or she will uh, perform in future how he or she will perform in past both current and past and current so the right answer will be current performance because what the person is having say for example you are very good at uh, high jump right so i will assess your special ability right now to know uh, how oh, you can jump um, uh, in the uh, race uh, in the competition how well you are doing with it and how oh, okay. you can achieve excellence in it so i want to know your current performance that is why i have administered the special ability test right next, next question 53rd question which of the following is not a special ability which is not not right this not is very important which is not a special ability problem solving itself is a special ability computing itself is a, a special ability intelligence it is a special ability but communication communication means to uh, provide yes, some message to one to another say for example you are communicating with your friend hello good morning how are you i am fine here today is my birthday that is what you call a communication informal formal direct communication indirect communication there are many type of communication so communication is not a special thing we do communication in our day to day life and it is very common right next 54th question now this is again mm -hmm. assertion region an employer uh, employer okay. administers aptitude test for the recruitment of employees for the success of his organization in future now let us understand it clear clearly an employer, employer means boss of the company or uh, uh, you know the uh, employer who will uh, provide job right hire a uh, hiring authority right those who are hiring uh, personnel to their company now they administer aptitude test aptitude means there is difference between attitude and aptitude attitude means your behavior but but aptitude means your ability to do a certain type of work aptitude means a special ability Aptitude means directly it is the ability, but it is a special kind of ability you can do uh, better than others. Say for example, mathematical aptitude. You are very good at mathematics, so you have uh, mathematical aptitude. You can do it properly, right? Now, uh, there is a difference between attitude and aptitude. So, they are administering the aptitude test for you for the recruitment of employees for the success of the organization in future okay they are uh, hiring the students on the basis of aptitude they are hiring it may be employer it may be a college right so they are admission like entrance examination okay entrance examination they uh, perform the aptitude test research aptitude test teaching aptitude test like that the reason is an employee employee mm. needs to be intelligent employee means the worker okay uh, those who are facing the interview so they uh, they should be intelligent okay now see both the assertion and reasons region seems to be right but the answer will be b why because it is right it is right that an employer always 
seeks to be you know very um, you know democratic in his nature and he will definitely select some good students good employees for his or her organization but employee yes. needs to be intelligent it is just a part it is just a part of an employee that yes. he or she needs to be intelligent but that yes. is not the necessary and not the sufficient yes. condition to be selected in the recruitment process right so that is why both are correct but they are not related they are not related next yes. question 55th which of the following is not used to measure personality okay now see what i am trying to tell you is that this is the paper set a education paper set a those who have set b c or d they can match it otherwise because uh, the questions are same but the numbers are different okay the answer are same so which of the following is not used to measure personality which is not a tool or not a method to measure your personality so the answer will be reverse thinking method it is not a method to measure personality which cause projective methods are there sociometry is a method which you use in the you know uh, surrounding of the child to know the um, know about the child say for example i want to administer sociometry so i will um, select yes. some subjects around you your your uh, peer your uh, relatives and i will choose them and will ask yes. about you how yes. is mr a how is uh, miss b and what are her good abilities and uh, uh, what are his or her strengths like that sociometry method then interview method is there but reverse thinking method is not there so answer will be d then 56th which of the following test is used to measure personality which of the following test is used to measure personality mm -hmm. definitely army alpha test army beta test right terence test ttct it is known as ttct it is the creativity test okay creativity test and these are what intelligent test but personality test is tat tat means thematic perception test tat cat these are some personality test then 57th question which of the following sets of yeah. characteristics suit role, role model type of personality role model role model means what those, those who uh, can impress yeah. others by their uh, you know uh, like uh, Uh, abilities okay Me means a person a person who wants to be a role model should modify himself or herself to become a role model for others say for example sachin tendulkar he never uh, he never endorses any kind of tobacco any kind of you know liquor etc because he knew and he knows that many people follow him like a god that is why if he will start doing this type of ad then definitely others will follow it right so if you want to be a role model then what will be your characteristics okay now what is the right answer b is the right answer why now see out of the question this is the best question because low neuroticism high openness and high extraversion now see what is neuroticism first neuroticism means the fluctuation yes. neuroticism means fluctuation in neuroticism the person is very much fluctuated very much irritated and very much uh, you know uh, getting angry very quickly so neuroticism so no low neuroticism is needed in a type of uh, role model then high openness he or she is very open and very uh, supportive that is good high extraversion means uh, some uh, um, extrovert a type of extrovert now what is introvert and what is extrovert introvert is a person who speaks out the feeling mm. to anybody introvert never keeps anything in uh, his or her mind or uh, heart he, uh, he will uh, definitely express yes. his or her ideas to others but sorry i am just the opposite one introvert means to keep the feeling inside mm. your heart you will never tell that in front of anybody but extrovert means you will definitely speak out the feeling what you are feeling right now so extroversion to uh, you know express the idea to uh, um, to be very open to others to share yeah. your ideas with the others right extroversion is needed so the best answer is b okay next 58 now who divides 16 personality factor pf 
theory or questioner to major personality that is definitely rb cattle cattle is the right answer because yes. he gave the 16 pf that means 16 personality factor theory okay now 59 which of the following has not been proposed by sheldon as a personality trait now sheldon yes. has proposed personality trait of three types personality is of three types according to sheldon what is that endomorphic ectomorphic and mesomorphic okay now these are the three types but ecto activomorphic is not the right answer so the answer will be d okay next one 60th question which of the following traits of personality tend to increase as people grow older now say for example a child child is just uh, you know three years old now he will never understand many things and uh, uh, he or she will definitely you know be uh, not agree that uh, if you say no this toy is not good uh, and uh, we will buy another one in front of our house but they will not agree when you grow up they will start you know uh, agreeing with others agreeing with your point so agreeableness is one such answer but, but again you, neuroticism means fluctuation you as you grow old. older the neuroticism is, or the fluctuation in your mind becomes calm and you become so calm cool mm -hmm. and determined so a or c uh, both are correct both are correct in this context but the best answer would be agreeable. agreeableness right agreeableness will be the most suitable answer but let us see which is the right answer after the uh, official answer key comes up then 61 which of the following factor or factors contribute to shape personality which of the following is a factor which contributes to shape your personality to modify your personality to uh, to you know mold your personality definitely it is both biological and environmental because Uh, only biological only environmental is not possible and neither biological nor environment is also not possible so both biology and environment plays a great role for uh, shaping the personality then 62 which of the following is not a characteristic of neurotic personality again that yeah. neurotic neurotic means he is very much fluctuated irritated uh, so which is not, not a characteristic neurotic person is always uh, you know uh, um, they are very um, what they are very sad they are very irritable they are very moody but stableness not a characteristic means stableness they are stable no this is not a characteristic because they are always fluctuating okay next which of the following pair of characteristics is applicable mm -hmm. to a person with extraversion personality trait extraversion i have just explained right now so extraversion as far as extraversion is con uh, concerned the c answer will be correct because extraversion people are very mm -hmm. much open to them open to others so they love meeting new people they has yes. a wide circle of friends they talk to each other like that okay so c will be the right answer then we go for 64 who defines personality is the dynamic organization within the individual of those psychophysical system that determine his unique adjustment to the environment now this definition means personality is dynamic and which helps the person or the individual to adjust with the new environment it is said by definitely it is said by alport right it is said by alport a very famous definition given by alport next question 65th according to, to whom, whom personality is based on the dynamic interaction of three components of id ego and super ego the most famous theory uh, as far as psychology is concerned sigmund freud sigmund freud is known as the father of psychosexual theory okay in that a theory he has uh, you know explained about id ego and super ego id mm -hmm. is pleasure seeking and uh, um, it never <laughs> thinks about good or bad it is always driven towards the goal whatever the consequence may be that means id is bad when it is very much uh, 
no demanding it is very demanding and very bad super ego is ethical exactly. in every field he will say no this should not you should not do that but ego makes a balance between the ego id and super ego right so sigmund freud is the right answer then 66th question which uh, choose the statement does not represent the meaning of personality which is not the meaning of personality person's pattern of attribute thought feeling social adjustment it is correct why because it is personality so uh, it is asking question of does not which does not yes. represent okay but the first one is representing second one set of quality that make a personality distinct from other you have certain yes. capability certain qualities uh, this is how you are different from others that is also your personality distinctive individual qualities of a person considered collectively when all of your qualities your writing capability your speaking ability your uh, athletic ability everything is considered and then mm -hmm. it makes personality this is also correct but qualities of a person directed towards shaping of environment is not the uh, definition of personality that is why d is the right answer some people will say qualities of a person directed towards shaping environment is also correct no this is not correct why because shaping of environment is not done by you only you are not the person who shapes environment right environment is a different thing where all the people live and they all are responsible for shaping the environment not a single personality 67th what steps should a teacher to take to address the differences in learning achievement of student in her subject you okay. are teaching english to the student and you uh, faced that. that you revealed that many of the student i mean most of the students are different in their achievement so what you will do definitely you will address the needs and interest of individual learner you will not follow uniform way you will not ask the student to increase their time of learning and you will not take it, it as a natural phenomenon but you will definitely address the need and interest of the individual learner why they have failed what were the problems and you will find out and then you will work on it next yes. question which of the following factor or factors contribute to individual difference what are the factor again the same question uh, asked earlier interplay between heredity and environment heredity and environment both play a vital role for the uh, individual differences and they both contribute to individual differences right now 69th question when a teacher assigns different tasks to different student they Please. believe that suppose you are a teacher you are assigning different task to different student why because student will feel proud no because it produces competition among student no definitely not students cannot copy from each other this is a silly one but the answer is b every student is unique that is why you are providing different task to different student to inculcate different type of attitude belief and abilities then 70 which of the following is not an area of measuring individual differences it is not an area of measuring individual difference social adjustment yes it is intellectual ability yes it is interest yes, yes it, it is. is but we never consider annual income as individual difference okay answer would be d 71st question read the statement again assertion reason some, some parents in our society in prefer to have son rather than daughter people some people believe that uh, son is better than daughter so they used to prefer son rather than girls reason why, why? there reason. is a difference between boy and girl there is a difference between boy and girl now, now see, see if you look, look from the ethical point of view a is the correct answer ethical, ethical point, point of view but we will not consider a as the right answer uh, a is the right answer because both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a why they don't want uh, girls because yes. boys and girls are different they have different capabilities that is why a will be the right answer okay so sometimes people feel that if uh, uh, you know feminist will definitely think that no we are not different we are as equal as boys and we are excelling in every field that is why this is not the correct explanation but it is Uh, quite contrary so we will consider a as the right answer because in assertion region the rule is that you don't have to put your own uh, you know opinion in this regard okay then 72nd question 
Now, teacher divides a student into five groups. You have divided people into five groups, each consisting of nearly equal hmm. number of boys and girls. And boys and girls are there, right? Uh, low achievers, moderate achievers, and high achievers. Again, hmm. they are divided into low, moderate, and high achievers. Then again, hmm. they are divided into rural hmm. and urban. So, what hmm. type of grouping is this? Definitely heterogeneous. Heterogeneous means people from different group join the same group. Homogeneous means same, same type, type of people, people grouped together. Ability grouping, according to your ability, you will be grouped. If you are an artist, you will come under artist group. If you are a singer, you will come under singers group. Grouping by student interest, it is also different, but the answer is C. The okay. inherited characteristic of a personal normally means the inherited characteristic of a person you are you have mm -hmm. inherited something from your parents then uh, what can be done to this uh, characteristic it can mm -hmm. be changed not exactly it can be changed easily mm, yes it can be it can be changed quickly but the most suitable answer is it can be changed slowly because what you have inherited from your uh, parents it is not changed very fast it is not, uh, you know, changed very easily. So it is a slow process, but it will change one day. Okay. Now, 74th, the heredity of an individual is determined at what time? At the time of birth? No. At the time of infancy? No. At the time of conception? Exactly not, but throughout the life. Right. What you have inherited from your parent, it will be seen throughout the life, not at a single point of time. Then 75th, knowledge of the areas of factor contributing to individual difference helps a teacher too. Suppose you are a teacher and you have to have some knowledge regarding individual differences. Okay. Why? Because focus on learning of high achievers. No. Focus on learning of low achievers. It is also no. Focus on learning of average achiever. No. To improve her teaching learning process. You want to know about individual difference just to improve your teaching learning process 76 question statement one teacher understands that every learner is unique teacher always understand that every learner is unique now in statement two teaching learning process should be uniform befitting the average learner means uniform uh, learning process will be there but the focus and the benefit will be given to the average learners okay now both the statement one are true one and true are true no both the statement one and two are false it is not also true both uh, statement one is false but statement two is true no but statement one is true but statement two is false we cannot do like this we cannot befit the average learners only and we cannot provide the uniform process everywhere because of the individual differences next question number 77 the most suitable educational provision for slow learner is what okay. definitely the first question comes to your mind first you know option comes to your mind is remedial instruction when somebody is lagging behind a person or a pe people or a student is not doing well in studies then definitely he or she needs remedial instruction remedial instruction means extra class then 78 uh, which of the following best explains the characteristic of a gifted child? Which is the which uh, of the following is a characteristic of gifted child? Who is a gifted child? Emotional, Emotional child? child? No. Talkativeness? No. Modesty? No. Curiosity. Curiosity means the eagerness of knowing. The eagerness of knowing. So he is very much eager to know everything. Okay. Gifted child is a very hmm. intelligent child. Okay. 79. In a school, the teacher belongs to science stream. Science stream. Teachers belonging to science stream propose headmaster to implement the scheme of CCE. Science uh, stream teachers want CCE to be implemented. Whereas teachers belonging to art stream propose to continue the existing scheme. Science stream is saying for CCE. But art stream is opposing CCE. Okay. They are opposing CCE. So this is an example of which type of conflict. Definitely it is a group, uh, arts group and science group and conflict between them are called 
inter group conflict inter group conflict okay which of the following is not a characteristic of adjustment not a characteristic of adjustment definitely c is the right answer why keeping balance, balance between one's need and capacity one's need capacity it is your own not the adjustment changing, changing one's way if you if you change something or uh, one's life to uh, fulfill the demand then definitely it is the uh, it is called as adjustment it is also adjustment it is also adjustment bringing change in the environment mm -hmm. to suit one's way of life definitely it is uh, it, it will be called as what um, um, adjustment but, but yeah. efforts to fulfill one's needs anyway mm -hmm. it is not the characteristic why because say for example you want to you know uh, you want 500 rupees from your father for the sake of going picnic okay but father will not give you 500 so now what what is the characteristic of adjustment you will adjust with uh, students uh, of your class that means your friend and you will drop the idea of picnic okay this year i will drop next year i will go this is the adjustment but you are doing any effort to fulfill your own need anyway you will rob somebody you will snatch 500 from somebody and uh, you will do some you know illegal activity to get 500 so that you can go to a picnic so that is what we uh, we uh, are not considering as a characteristic of adjustment next question a student wishes to become a doctor and at the same time to be an engineer you want to be a doctor again you want to be an engineer both are positive thing you want that one you want that one then definitely it is called approach and approach conflict when both are positive both the choices are positive then it is approach approach conflict when there is a conflict between one's internal needs and environmental and demand which of the following will be best adjustment process that, that means, means you uh, have some internal need you have your own need and some environmental demands from you so what you will do the person should modify the environment you will uh, try to modify this environment no this is not correct Person should escape from the situation. You will you know, uh, escape from this situation because you can't face the situation. This is also not correct. Person should go by the internal needs anyway. You want to fulfill your own need anyway. Mm -hmm. This is also not correct. The answer will be A. Person should modify internal need. You can modify your own need according to the situation because human is very flexible like mother. Okay. Mother sacrifices her food her comfort for the sake of children as well as family so what she does is modify her own interest according to the demand so that is what we learn from them 83rd question guys uh, this is uh, a request to everyone if you like this video and if you like this type of video on our channel subscribe the channel like the video share it to all and join the telegram for updates as well as notes 83rd question when students who fa fails in the medical entrance test blame medical profession this, this type of defense mechanism is known as there is a proverb called sore grapes sore grapes if you can't this grapes then grapes are not sweet it is sore likewise you have appeared for medical entrance but you haven't cleared so you are you have started blaming the medical profession no no it is not good medical is not good so this type of defense mechanism is definitely called rationalization rationalization means you want to prove that the medical profession is not good that, that is, is why i haven't cracked okay then 84 again no. from defense mechanism a vegetable Vegeta vendor a small vegetable vendor uh, he feels very proud Proud's of it. saying that his maternal Atten uncle is an mp member of parliament he is a, a vegetable, vegetable vendor but, but he is you know um, saying that my maternal uncle is an mp so what, what is, is uh, what is the type of defense mechanism here definitely identification in identification a person wants, wants to be famous yes. in others name or any type that means he he means the vegetable vendor he wants to be identified by the name of his maternal uncle okay 85th question statement one it is often stated that while book can teach only personality can educate book can only teach you 
बट ए पर्सनैलिटी लाइक ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम स्वामी विवेकानंद महात्मा गांधी जी नेल मंडेला जी सो यू कैन लर्न मेनी थिंग्स फ्रॉम द पर्सनैलिटी सो दैट इज वाई इट इज टोल्ड पर्सनैलिटी कैन एडुकेट यू बट बुक कैन ओनली टीच यू सो द स्टेटमेंट टू से टीचर शुड हैव इमेंस लव फॉर चिल्ड्रेन ओके इफ अ टीचर विल लव हिज और हर स्टूडेंट इमेंसली देन डेफिनेटली द स्टूडेंट्स विल यू नो कंसिडर हिम और हर एज ए रोल मॉडल डेफिनेटली so definitely the answer would be b both the statement are correct and related next the most popular technique of measuring adjustment how do you measure adjustment so the most popular technique for ad- measurement of adjustment is projective techniques right not scaling not test not inventory next question which of the following is not a characteristic of a well adjusted person if uh, you are a well adjusted person then you will have certain qualities but those who are not a well adjusted person they will find they, they will not find satisfaction of basic need if they are satisfied then why will they called as uh, um, well adjusted person okay finding ease with surrounding that is also good flexibility in behavior that is also good but critical attitude is not a characteristic of a well adjusted person okay now 88 when a child does not participate in debate competition in fear of failure this type of defense mechanism is known as sometimes people feel that oh i will not appear the exam yeah, because, because uh, i may fail okay i may not achieve the excellence yeah. then people will ask me about my result and then i will be i will feel embarrassed in front of them so i will not appear the examination because of my failure this is withdrawal you are withdrawing yeah. yourself from appearing any type of examination then 89 statement is the greater the degree of successful adjustment the greater will be the mental health of the individual means the more, more you adjust, adjust the more, more uh, mental health of your uh, mental okay. health uh, uh, is growing okay if you will not okay. adjust yourself then definitely it is not going okay statement 2 parents and teachers should orient okay. their children not, not to, to back, back out from their opinion in, in any case now see this is a very deep question if a child is having something in his mind that i want that uh, video game video game i want video game and mm-hmm. if the parents mm-hmm. will say uh, uh, that uh, you will mm-hmm. never you should never but lose mm-hmm. your hope you should never, never give, give up, up what you demand always mm-hmm. uh, you know long for that thing and uh, go for that thing anyhow you will achieve that this is a kind of bad temper this is a kind of bad temper it becomes a type of habit then we uh, demand everything at every point of time they are very demanding that is why it is not correct so she will be the right answer statement 1 is true but statement 2 is false we should not parents and teachers should not encourage their child to stick to their opinion stick to their opinion in any way because in near future they will demand everything and they will they will never you know be quiet okay they will be very revengeful then 90th question which of the following is not related to the meaning of defense mechanism not related to defense mechanism escape it is defense mechanism encounter defense mechanism self deception is also mechanism but fight reaction is not the defense mechanism c is the right answer 91st educational administration unlike general administration needs to be educational administration is quite different to general administration of the state center or the district so it must, must be. be authoritative no coercive coercive means to force Coursive. another one to uh, you know follow the rules no it is not commanding Mandy. do that. that do this one no it should be persuasive persuasive means to persuade other kindly complete the task by tomorrow so that we can uh, you know submit the letter if you will say like this then definitely the uh, task will be done by the authority okay the next question the hallmark, hallmark of democratic administration is what sharing responsibility definitely sharing responsibility share it with the state with the district with the local authority the scope of educational administration encompasses scope of education yes. administration is everywhere all, all levels, levels form of a type of education every form in every form you will find educational administration 94th question 
एजुकेशनल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन हैज इट्स ग्राउंड रियलिटी एंड इंपॉर्टेंस एट द स्टेट लेवल सेंट्रल लेवल ब्लॉक लेवल और इंस्टीट्यूशन लेवल डेफिनेटली इंस्टीट्यूशनल लेवल बिकॉज ग्राउंड रियलिटी न सी द आंसर इज ऑलरेडी गिवेन ग्राउंड रियलिटी इज एट द इंस्टीट्यूशनल लेवल ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन The concept of light but tight regulatory framework of educational system is given by very easy and if you have gone through NEP then you have uh, the answer in front of you that is NPE 2020 2020 uh, NPE says that NEP says that light but tight framework light but tight means there will be flexibility but tight supervision. tight uh, inspection will be done by the supervisory committee so that everything should go in a right way then the destiny of india is now shaped in her classroom indicates uh, fatalistic re- reconciliation no infrastructure assurance no political gimmick no but education for national building education will help in national building 97 the head of an economy uh, uh, an academic institution in a democracy should be considered as in a democracy an academic, academic institution head is considered to be first among equals first among equal equal means all are teacher all are teacher and all, all are equal and the difference is, is that the headmaster teacher. is the, the first em- among the teacher but not the privileged one not the sole authority not one with very little power okay but he or she should be first among equal all are equal but hm is first like in our case president president of india is known as the first citizen of india he is also he or she is also the citizen i am talking about the post not the present president talking about the post president the post of president is somebody is a person who will have the badge right now on the murmu madam is there so president is, is the, the first, first person or first lady okay then we will come why because president is also a citizen of india okay next educational administration should give utmost importance to utmost importance maximum importance to human development not culture or curricular not technological not instructional or infrastructural but human development is more important then next question which of the following is the worst of factor affecting educational administration worst now see everything goes well until the administration comes now nep has formulated many things many changes into the educational system and it will be incorporated to the institution it will be applied to the institution but the problem will come then there will be very much political interference if say for example for inspection deo or director comes to your school then definitely the local uh, mla mp or local panchayat they will um, you know they will apply some force on the authority to give them a green signal then they will definitely do that one because they love their job then it is what it is called as political interference then question number 10100 psychological factors are best handled by definitely educational administration because psychological factor is neither uh, considered by general administration business administration and political administration it is done by educational administration 101 the prime concern of educational administration is the day to day management of the institution accomplishment of prefixed goal efficient financial management and timely conduct of examination the apex work or apex concern prime concern of administration is day to day management of the institution a will be the right answer in view of covid 19 perspective it has happened that uh, to the scope of educational administration the scope of educational administration at this point of time what you felt like it has been reduced no it has remained changed no Unchanged? No. It has been completely redundant. No. It has been enhanced because earlier yes. educational administration was only confined to the offline institutions or only institutions. But now it has reached to online education, local authority. Okay, and, and some, some uh, you know some graduates, graduates 
were given the duty to teach the students at home and uh, some anganwadi workers were sent to the school to distribute the uh, you know dry rice and, and uh, crops and uh, dress like that okay so the uh, scope of administration has emerged to be enhanced right okay next question 103 effective <laughs> educational administration operates on the principle of educational administration will be effective if it is purely <clears throat> practicability or practicable okay 103 is d 104 in educational administration the principle of justice warrants the consideration of principle of justice means what an individual's worth when you understand in an educational administration principle of justice, justice means justify with the person justify with the person so we will definitely give some worth to the individual who is doing the task or who is doing the job okay so knowing the individual worth is considered as the principle of justice then 105th question education in india yeah. as per constitutional provision is in the uh, concurrent list definitely it is in the concurrent list next question 106th question institutions of national importance national, national importance institutions are controlled by definitely central government okay central government will uh, bear all the expenses and it is controlled by the national uh, the central government okay 107 yes, jawahar navodaya vidyalaya jnvs jnvs scheme yes. is controlled and managed by what the central government definitely it is not by the state not by the local body not by the ngo it is uh, controlled by the central government again okay. 108 given the diversity of peculiarity of the country india uh, uh, indian education has been conceived to be best managed by it is managed by means indian education is best managed by whom definitely shared control of center say state and local body not center not state not local authority um, as a sole uh, as a uh, you know um, single authority but shared control of three of them 109 the acronym for swayam swayam is study waves of active learning for a young aspiring mind next question 110 okay. the primary the objective, objective of swayam prabha swayam prabha is meant for what for the rural areas okay it is availing the quality learning measures or resources to the rural areas or the remote areas getting my point next 111 CIET Delhi it is instituted in Delhi Central Institute of Educational Technology is a constituted unit of NCERT National Council of Educational Research and Training it has its three parts it has its three parts one is nie national institute of education second one is rie there are five ris five ris regional institute of education and ciet central institute of education and technology many people think that aict all india council for technical education but it is not a part of aict cbc textbook are usually published by it is the easiest question in the whole paper ncert publishes the CBSC books then 113 UGC to have an effective uh, control and uh, national operates through uh, uh, national coverage UGC University Grants Commission for its smooth conduction of operation it has seven uh, regional uh, centers seven regional centers right a will be the right answer 113 114 okay. AICT aims at AICT aims at what a planned and coordinated development of technical education right now I have said AICT is all India Council for technical education so it will not look after teacher education not tribal education not tertiary education but technical education 115 institutions of higher education in India receive financial grant institution of higher education that means higher education institute HEI is receive financial resources or financial allocation or grant Thanks. from whom from UGC definitely University Grants Commission 115 D 116 for greater flexibility in higher education CBCS is an innovative idea of CBCS choice based credit system is it is an idea of UGC again okay next question 117 for a far more robust Bust. and improved Bust. governance robust means strong uh, governance monitoring of school education, education NP 2020 
visualizes to replace the nomenclature of school management committee smc will be renamed as what scmc scmc that is school complex management committee okay so smc will be changed to scmc next 118 in service and pre service training requirements of primary teacher at district level are taken care of teacher education at okay. district level the only answer and the perfect answer is diet district institute of education and training diets okay 119 planning implementation and monitoring of developmental program and standards of school education at local mm -hmm. level is managed by at <laughs> local level means not the state level not the central level it is managed by the smcs right now school management committee not by ngo not by parent teacher association and not by scrt too because scrt works at state level okay it is asking local level 120 supervision is an act of now see question number uh, option number b fault finding fault finding out where the fault is it is the task of inspection it is the task of inspection checking at the end that everything is fine this is not done in supervision ensuring that nobody bunks the duty option itself is not adequate so the first answer is correct overseeing the entire process you are overseeing the entire process whether it is working good or not it is supervision getting my point next for Achieve. achieving the optimal result which type of which of the following is the best kind of supervision which type of supervision will give the best result autocratic no benevolent no expert supervision no democratic supervision where you believe the democratic values then 122 the scope of educational supervision is limited to primary education secondary education higher education no 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 as wide as education at all no. level forms types and modes answer is clearly visible here okay answer is d 123 when <laughs> the observation of the supervisor on performance of the teachers is judicious it comes under the performance of the teacher a teacher is doing his job perfectly then you uh, after uh, observing his or her class you have uh, uh, given the verdict that he or she is a very good teacher then it is called as what it is called as principle of justice you are giving justice to the teacher because the teacher is doing good and you are praising the teacher that is why it is the principle of justice next 124 the objective of educational supervision should be educational supervision should be ensuring holistic development of the student teacher as well as institution not only the teacher behavior not only the student performance in exam not the coverage of time but holistic development of the child as well as teacher and the institutions right next 125 educational supervision is a bureaucratic process no mechanistic process no ritualistic no it is continuous and dynamic educational supervision is continuous it is done continuously and it is a dynamic process which is changeable which is which is flexible then 126 uh, when a supervisor advises a burnout teacher in a school it may be called burnout means those who are frustrated those who are fluctuated those who have depression okay then uh, there will be two type of answer one is personal counseling one is feedback okay personal mm -hmm. counseling means to counsel the teacher what happened what what is your problem then he or she will try to understand the problem and give the measures but sometimes it is also correct uh, by calling it feedback he or she uh, the supervisor will give feedback to the teacher how to uh, you know handle how to adjust uh, with uh, themselves then 127 as a supervisor before acting arnab mm -hmm. always prefers to discuss uh, contentious issues consult and takes consent of the stakeholders means if you are a principal if you are a principal at every issue you discuss with your teachers you discuss with your teachers what type of supervision is this definitely participative everyone is participating with you that is why participative supervision next question 128 indication of the of an effective educational supervision when uh, we will call uh, an educational supervision as effective when it will 
grow independence and self sufficiency of teachers and student teachers will grow and students will grow both will become self sufficient okay 129 the nep 2020 has proposed a budget provision of dash percent of gdp of expenditure gdp of 6 percent is b will be the right answer 6 percent gdp of total gdp will be spent on education then 130 Education being in the current current list and despite being a joint responsibility, substantial expenditure of it is borne by. This is uh, education is a joint venture of center and state, but the extra amount, the the uh, you know uh, a substantial amount expenditure is borne by whom? It is borne by the central government. Clear? Next, one thirty one. Now. deficit formula deficit means shortage is a method or principle of financing educational institution under under what, what? under grant in aid if you face any kind of shortage or deficit then definitely it will come under grant in aid next 132 the who are the partners of hefa so it is m o i mean Uh, ministry of education as well as what canada bank canada bank they are um, both partners in hefa then 133 which of the following takes the major share of the total expenditure in india say for example 100 crores is given to education in india then who yes. takes the maximum amount of money elementary secondary tertiary or adult elementary or primary education uh, gets the most amount of money most amount of money okay then secondary then both of them okay tertiary education is given uh, most important than adult education it is just a part of tertiary education that is why most amount is given to the elementary or primary education next 134 so elementary will be the right answer the planning commission of india has been replaced by easiest question niti ayog okay 135 special education program in india is regulated and monitored by special education is monitored by rci rehabilitation council of india many people think that social justice empowerment no ministry of education no national institute of visually handicap no but it is rehabilitation council of india which provides certificate to the differently abled children okay and it gives affiliation it gives affiliation yes. to special schools to special schools then 136 amlan uh. amlan lost his power of vision he is blind in both eyes soon after his birth he is blind by birth but, but he, he can sing very well he is a blind but he is a singer how should a uh, school call him visual handicap blind exceptional child no differently able he is not able to see but he is differently able because he can sing well okay now 137 which of the following is called india's educational plan it is known as 11th five year plan and 11th five year plan is from 2007 to 12 okay 11th five year plan 138 Uh, major educational components of 11th five year plan relate to the recommendations made by major educational components which are developed at this stage after the 11th plan it is recommended by the national knowledge commission 2006 uh, sorry 2007 the chairman was sam petroda sam petroda a man from odisha a man from odisha sam petroda okay 139 the acronym of udl definitely universal design for learning direct question is that then 140 children with dyslexia now see in the previous video i have told you that from our class we have got six questions in total so dyslexia i have already discussed in just 20 question i have just discussed 20 question with you in the video you can watch it in the playlist that i have discussed 20 question out of which six questions were seen in the paper so dyslexia is one of them dyslexia i have discussed about dyslexia it is a kind of reading or comprehension disability next uh, 141 so 
emotional expressions like oh poor child really unfortunate for disabled children are say for example you are a disabled person okay you are a disabled person somebody speaks out like oh poor child you are really unfortunate these are not desirable so undesirable it is not supportive if you want to be supportive then support okay. them support the child by saying you are not different you are not disabled you are equal with me like this this is called supportive then 142 following the dress code in school is a sign of everyone wears the uniform just because to maintain the uniformity to maintain the uniformity then 143 paralympic games para olympics it is known as para olympics one is olympic for the uh, normal people and for the differently able it is known as para olympics uh, is played for what gifted children no women athlete no children above 18 no athletes with range of physical disabilities okay 144 people with disability needs to be those who are disabled they needs to be isolated no they need to be fixed no they need to be ridiculed no they should be accepted we should accept them with their disability despite of their disability then 145 disability rights are called health right no economic right no not legal right also it is human right okay then iedc stands for iedc stands for integrated education for the disabled children then 147 i thank god, god for my handicap for through them i have found myself and my god my and my god that means thank god for my handicap and for that reason i found myself to be very unique who said this one helen keller because uh, she herself was an uh, was a handicapped okay then niepa stands, stands for niepa stands for national institute of educational planning and administration situated at delhi so the last Thank two you. questions are when an administration needs yes. a quick and efficient solution to a school problem he needs to conduct i have also discussed this question in the video if you don't believe you can go to the playlist and see that video i have prepared for the preparation of uh, oes expected mcqs so i have discussed it like action research the answer would be action research if you want quick and efficient solution of a school problem then last question 150th best kind of leader is required to be in education is transactional no servant leadership no strategic no transformational transform means those who want change a leader who want to change the scenario of the educational institution is the best kind of leader so that is how we have completed 150 question analysis of oes 2 and uh, for that reason i have uh, tried to you know inculcate all the learning is all the knowledge and i have prepared as much as possible um, so for that thing uh, at the end i have uh, uh, i have a you know tradition of giving a quote for you for your motivation smart and steady wins the race there is no uh, the old saying is uh, the slow and steady wins the race but no it is not in the right context so it would be smart and steady wins the race and uh, again thank you for watching subscribe the channel and like the session if this class seems helpful to you thank you thank you all